This episode of Geek Entertainment Television is brought to you by the University of Advancing Technology. It was a creed written into the founding documents that declared the destiny of the nation. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. This is Allison Bates Fisher with the Change Branch of Geek Entertainment Television with Yossi, organizer curator, mayhem maker, extraordinaire of this art show. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. Tell me a little bit about this show. Well, we uh, have about 200 artists from all over the United States who've come together to produce work um, to celebrate this achievement, this moment in history, um, and to celebrate the hard work that the artists put in in support of the grassroots movement. And um, we have some of the most Famous uh, images from the campaign to new works made by people who want to make sure that this uh, movement continues. Tell me a little bit about the progress of this event. Well, we um, we start out with a, one artist um, named Shepard Perry. Ah, uh, Shepard is amazing. Oh, that Shepard guy. Um, and you know, we ran into Shepard and asked him to make a poster. The very next day, he sent in the image that is now tomorrow being inducted into the National Portrait Gallery um, at the Smithsonian. And uh, we, it was off. And we knew that um, at that point that Barack Obama needed to, um, as soon as people saw and learned and heard Barack Obama, that they would, that would, they would embrace him. But they just needed to see him. I'm here with Ania Khan, the artist of this fabulous painting behind us. How are you tonight? Pretty good. Tell me a little bit about this piece. I see there is a crown, as like a king's crown. How is that important to the piece? So the crown, basically, like the whole piece is a story. So it's like um, the face of Dr. King represents like people who have been fighting for this moment. And then you have 1968 Olympics, where it represents a time where people of the same background were usually, uh, like those guys were stripped of their uh, awards for what they worked hard for and then now the crown represents that now like he's getting the crown back sort of like rewinding everything and making it right you know so it's like a resurrection of sorts now tell me how many people ask you if you are will i am 1500 and still counting wanted to start off with the painting that's behind us a lot of people have been saying it resembles alfred e newman I don't think so. It's Abraham Lincoln with uh, Barack Obama. Absolutely. I think our last president was Alfred E. Newman. We've already gotten through that phase. Didn't work out too well. So can you tell us, I mean, you're known for doing pop art and um, the billboard art. How does this relate to what you're doing now or what you did in the past? Well, the way we, we, we approach this, we, it was originally an image created for a print for the campaign. But then once the image became famous, we we took it across the country, we put it on billboards and on buildings, and we kind of did our own underground campaign for Obama. So the, the, being a, a billboard appropriator came in quite handy. What what makes you really into this? Well, we've been actually campaigning in our own way for you know about a year now, and then we went to the, the convention and, um, in Denver, and we had a big, pretty much the same art show, or very similar art show, but the vibe there was different. I mean, it was very exciting, but there was also this kind of cloud that hung over the whole thing that he might not get elected, you know, and I was kind of very insecure about that. And uh, now it's just fun because it really happened. Now, what do you see happening in another four years? Well, he's got a big mess to clean up, so I think it's going to be a while. But um, God, thank God we had the right guy at the right time. Now, I noticed that your art was a quilted piece of Barack Obama. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, the work I've been doing lately is in gold and silver fabrics, metallic fabrics with metallic threads and metallic frames, actually, usually. And uh, this piece of Obama was done in an applique technique, which basically is individual pieces of fabric stitched down by a sewing machine, actually not by hand, but by a sewing machine. How is the geek represented in your artwork? Oh, I don't know, the, the minutia and the, the joy of triangles and squares and things that I'm supposed to have let go of long ago. Uh, you know, really, I try, to, I try to make a big picture out of fracturing it out into little bits and and I enjoy sort of the random elements and the fun of it is when you get some 
you know, serendipitous uh, little discoveries that happen in there. So it's, it's okay. Geeky. Truth. Did you get these cutouts from women's magazines? Uh, many of them come from women's magazines. Uh, that's that's the, probably the only way I can get my wife to do the ripping for me some of the time. The late Pablo Picasso said uh, art is not uh, just something you use to decorate your apartments with, it's actually an instrument of war. Yes, we can.